coffee today in Hellfest with Van Mesa, right? It's actually really hot here. It's, it's Hellfest, and then you say so. Could be the hottest festival you ever played? I guess yes it is. Yeah. Or the hottest, Today at least. The yes. hottest place, even a venue or anything. For sure. It's, it's, it's the title is pretty crazy. much self-explanatory. Yeah, right? totally. Right, so they are presenting the new open clothes. Actually, it's the third album, right, for the band. Some changes, some uh, Eastern music influence. Actually, it's a conceptual album, right? So, um, are you thinking about the next one, or you're just focusing on the own clothes? Well, uh, at this point, I think we're much concentrating on, you know, playing the album right. that we just released like three months ago, and and that is actually the, the main focus on for Mesa right now. Right. Uh, I guess we will start to pick up pieces of, you know, inspiration and start, you know, the the mind going for the for the next one, but. You know, like the path reveals itself while you are walking on it. So right. we'll see where how what happens and where we go this time. <laughs> Actually, so having three albums already, um, you have a lot of songs to pick from, especially for a set list which lasts, I don't know, 40 minutes or something here. Okay, for one hour. For one hour. Yeah. So it's difficult for you to choose which songs to play or do you want to focus on the new songs or how do you do it? I mean, not today. I mean, I think that we're going to play a, a set list that we like decided in advance and it's more concentrated on, on the songs from Close, but we're also going to include like some songs from the previous records. Right. Yeah. So, um, per se, you are a metal band, but most of the music that you do is outside metal, which yeah, I yes. think <laughs> is that people found more curious about you. Right, so are you planning on incorporating more of these because you also play instruments that are not the typical bass or guitar or drums on this? Are you thinking of putting something else? Because I think some of you have to learn to play some instrument actually to play on the album, right? Yes, I want that. Yeah. Uh, that guitar player had to learn how to play oud yeah. because he was not, you know, able to, to do it. Um, and yeah, like we just basically. Yeah. Started like getting into it and uh, and practicing and so. Right. So right now it's more. So right now it's more focused on all more history, traditional inspiration. Were you thinking in other cultures as well? Well, I mean, right now, as I said, we're not really concentrating on what could be coming next. But for sure, I mean, for us, music is very spontaneous. I mean, there's nothing random in music. Right. But still, like uh, it must, you know. Have a certain kind of uh, natural thing that you know draws us to it. So I think that if we're going to find something that you know, we it really hits on us, we're right. basically going to include it and you know try to give a let's say a, our expression of what that thing is. Cool. I still we have still no idea, but <laughs> we're gonna find it. So, you know, we are a Spanish media and I think you guys are playing in Spain in September, right? You have three dates, you have Madrid, Barcelona and Portugalete, right? So, um, who are you playing with? Are you playing all your by yourself or do you have another band playing with you? We are going to play by ourselves. Yeah? Because we are doing by South France and then we join Spain and then we go back. It's going to be like a mini tour. Right. Yeah, so we will be by ourselves. Easy. Right. Easy. Yeah. Um, I don't recall you playing in Spain before. It's going to be your first time in Spain. No, actually we played in Barça once. In Barcelona, yeah. right. Once. Yeah, I guess it was in 2019. Right. 18 or 19 years. Yeah. 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 After yeah. Montpellier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you know here in Hellfest most people just want to come and have fun, yeah. like everybody, because I think you were here yesterday and you were seeing bands as well. It's too hot, but some people like to go in in, uh, in disguise, in costumes, you know, like pandas <laughs> or corpses. If you can go with a disguise over the festival, which one would you choose? Which one do you think you would fit your personality or? Hmm. I don't know, I would go with something that is completely off and Indeed, very much crazy. I nothing comes to my mind like right away, but I would do like the craziest thing probably. Actually, actually, yesterday was super jealous about this guy that he was wearing the Borat. Ah, uh, oh, the Borat bikini. The Borat bikini. Right. And, okay. uh, and I was melting because I was 
I was watching lepers on the main stage. Um, just in front of me was a guy who was wearing only underwear, and it was wet. So you can see all through, and all only that. And he was too white, and it turned into red. And I was like, Oh my god, this guy is crazy. He's gonna regret it tonight. <laughs> I put a layer of SPF 50 like all over, and yeah. they did the same too. Otherwise, we couldn't get like, Right. Well, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Have fun today. I think we're coming back home tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of the festival. And thank you for the interview. All right. All right. Hi, Jonathan. Bye. Just guys.